Now that I have a giant functional speedometer, all I need is integrated video games and I'll match the functionality of a Tesla. Ever since purchasing this car, I've wanted to be able to customize the center digital screen with this digital speedometer readout, among other things. After investigating, it turns out this would be very difficult to do. However, it turns out it's very easy to get the computer diagnostic information wirelessly sent over via Bluetooth to the head unit. And with that, you can display your speedometer or anything else on the head unit. So without further ado, let's get going on this project to get my digital speed going. The heart of this project is the Atoto OBD2 Bluetooth adapter, which will send all the car info via Bluetooth to the head unit. I also ordered a BB Fly OBD2 splitter. This will allow retaining the factory-like plug while still having the Atoto OBD2 adapter plugged in up in the car. I purchased the BB Fly specifically due to it having individual wires and a loom as opposed to a flimsy ribbon cable. The factory's OBD2 port is under the dash on the driver's side. Coming up from the pedals, you can see it secured in place to the left of the brake pedal with a plastic housing secured with three Torx screws. Using the T25 Torx bit on a socket, the three screws can be removed and the housing can be removed from the car. Since the BB Fly's plug does not clip into the factory holder, the measurements from the factory clip were used to model a replacement in Fusion 360. After about an hour of printing, the resulting part looks great. Once installed, it should be quite difficult to notice it differs from the original. Before installing, I drill out the holes slightly to make them perfect which is an expected operation after 3D printing. I also file the two clearance notches to fit, which is solely because I designed them too small in Fusion 360. And note that one female plug of the BB Fly is flat with a nice clip, which works with the part I designed. While the other side has these weird U-shaped things and will not work, go figure. With the 3D print prepared, I line it up and snap it in. It's a secure fit. Back inside the car, I quickly snapped the single male side of the BB Fly into the car, tucked up the wiring, and screwed the side with the 3D print in place. I thought I'd just set the record for the quickest, smoothest install, but when plugging the Atoto adapter in, I saw it powered up immediately without the ignition on. No bueno as that would drain the battery when not in use. Off camera, I removed the Atoto head unit to expose the wiring where I had already pulled 12 volt ignition. I then ran a single wire under the dash and into the head unit area to get the correct length. After checking the OBD2 wiring online, I confirmed the power wire with the multimeter. Including two extra wires with my power wire, I seal them up in the mesh wire loom using heat shrink. On this end, I built connectors that plug right into the existing wiring shown here, drawing the ignition power into my new wire. The other end will use the new weather pack connector I got off Amazon. The corresponding connector replaces the existing wire only on the Atoto adapter side of the BB Fly splitter. The result is a wire that plugs right into my existing wiring and provides ignition power only to the Atoto adapter, leaving the other ODB2 port like factory. Back at the car, I can plug one Tamiya plug into the ignition source and the other into the Atoto head unit, running the wire under the dash. And after reinstalling the 3D print with the three screws and clipping in the new wiring harness to the BB Fly splitter, the physical installation is complete. Now, with the ignition power on, we can pair the Atoto Bluetooth ODB2 adapter with the head unit. In the device settings, clicking Pair New Device should show the OBD2 one. 
After waiting for the name change from OBD BLE to OBD2, selecting it brings up the password prompt. Entering 1234 here pairs the device. Clicking into the Tor cap and clicking the gear in the bottom left, then selecting Settings, brings up Torque Settings menu. From here, click OBD2 Adapter Settings and then choose Bluetooth device selecting the ODB2 one. Finally, from the bottom left icon, choose Vehicle Profile this time and fill out the details correctly. Driving down the road, it is apparent that the giant Tesla-style Speedo view is useful. Now I have no desire to have the digital readout in the instrument cluster. Swiping up goes to the TAC and speedometer view I created, which I also like. All the views are completely customizable and there are tons of parameters to choose from. I created one more view which has some temperature readings for the ambient air and intake which is really fun to watch. There's like 6-8 to eight views total so I have a lot more to play with. For those with a keen eye, you may have noticed that the speedo was in kilometers per hour in the original footage. It's a simple setting to change it back to imperial measurements, though I wish it wasn't a global setting so you could have both at the same time. I hope you enjoy installing the Atoto OBD2 adapter into my Gardo. If you got this far, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe for more wacky projects in my Gyarado. Thanks for watching, Godspeed.